Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the worst launch ideas. We talked about the best launch ideas in the previous video and I will tell you what is really bad for you for your launch, especially if you have diabetes or if you're trying to lose weight. All right, so I'm Dr. Ahmed Tergin. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetologist, and a metabolism expert, and a diabetes educator. Da 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 da, it keeps going. So let's get started. Oh, yeah, guys, the first one that I want you to avoid is mac and cheese. Oh my god, isn't that delicious? <laughs> Tell me someone who does not like mac and cheese. And that is so easy. You know, they, people, I see people like microwaving them in like two minutes and then here you go, you have a lunch. Or people ordering as a side item. It's just not going to work out. It's the worst thing because it's the high carb, high fat. That's the disaster recipe for anybody who's trying to lose weight or preventing high blood sugars. Now the second mistake is eating outside fast food now how many times you go out and find a place that is healthy right nearby so as a physician we try to order food from outside just because i work from seven to seven pretty much and i don't really have time to cook for me and i don't have a staff member who can really cook for me that would be nice in this today's economics i don't i can afford that but what I do is we order food from outside and it becomes a challenge because everything is fast food. If you are trying to go grab something, you, if you want to get something healthy, you have to drive like 20 minutes. But guess what? It, it is it is worth it. It is okay to take time. I tell one of my staff member, hey, just go get, go to that place, drive to that place. They sometimes don't like it, but I'm like, you better like it because that's how it is going to work here. This is a diabetes office, <laughs> endocrinology office. But eating fast food just because it's convenient. I don't care if it is Chick-fil-A. I don't, I don't care if it is McDonald's or whatever you perceive. I don't think anybody perceives McDonald's healthy, but some people perceive Chick-fil-A a little healthier. But, you know, don't just don't don't deceive yourself. If it is fast food, the, the chicken, the meat there, they're all processed. They are uh, non -G always, almost always non-GMO, and they are cooked in high fat, etc. Now, of course, you know, I'm not saying that you cannot have healthy food from there. Like, you can go to Chick-fil-A and order a chicken with, with a, a grilled chicken uh, salad. That is fine, but how many times do you go to Chick-fil-A and order that? Uh, so, sometimes it's better to avoid going to those places altogether. Now... The the third one is salad. You're gonna be like, ho, oh, holy smoke! He's gonna say, don't eat salad. No. Now I'll tell. <laughs> I'm telling you, you you can eat salad. But here's the deal, man. You go to you go to a restaurant. They sometimes mix salads for you or pre-made salads or whatever. But they bring the bowl in front of you. You look at it. You're like, holy smoke, holy guacamole, man. This is huge. And you look at you wonder. Do you ever wonder that how much, how many calories in that salad? You know the things that they put in there. You know, especially with the dressing. And if you're putting some cheese and stuff like that um, generously, you are going to end up with anywhere from 800 to 1,000 calories. You heard me right. A lot of times you go to those restaurants and ask for salad and if you're not careful, especially with dressing and cheese and all that, you can go above 800 calories. And that that much calories sometimes is what you need to lose weight. So not for everybody, but like let's say for a you know postmenopausal tiny woman, they sometimes have to go down to 800 to 1,000 calories to lose weight. And then they come and say, I can't lose weight no matter what I do. Uh, yeah, because you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm sorry, not trying to blame anybody, but you know, that's the, that's the truth. Some salads can be at least 800 to 1,000 calories and you cannot afford that. Even if you eat just, you know, just salad, your, your blood sugar can still spike if you eat enough of it. Now, number four, that's kind of no brainer, but French fries. So if you're eating French fries in addition to whatever the healthy thing you're eating, you are not doing any favor to yourself. So French fry is the worst food you can have. So even if it is a couple bites, it's very tempting to go for more. I would say totally avoid that. 
of course, french fries, potato chips, doesn't really matter, oven baked, whatever, potato is a potato, avoid it. Now, soda with lunch is another one. So, I don't give it as, of course, you don't want to have regular soda. I mean, that's the, that's number one. You, you have to eliminate that from your life. I don't know, I don't care how addicted you are, you gotta stop that thing. If you're going for a diet, uh, you know, I'll say it may be acceptable, but... What happens with the diet soda, it, it stimulates your insulin as well, and then, you, and then it opens your appetite, so you end up eating more. So try to get used to that water with some lemon or something, you know, try to be creative, but try to avoid even diet soda if you can. And of course, pizza is something quick. Sometimes it just shows up unexpectedly. Somebody wanted to be nice, and they ordered pizza. Okay, well, that's really not nice, okay? Don't do it again to me, dude. Don't do that. Pizza is not something you can just say, hey, I'll have a piece, I'll be okay. No. Pizza will spike your blood sugar through the roof, even if it is just one slice. And it's going to sabotage your weight loss efforts. So, do yourself a favor. Do not even touch it, taste it, smell it. Run away. And another thing people go to is hot dogs, uh, bacon, any sort of processed meats. So even if you're on a keto type of diet, you know, I would call this a dirty keto because you're not really getting healthy food where these processed meats are full of nitrates and they are carcinogenic. They are full of animal fat. They will raise your blood, sugar, blood cholesterol. So when you are trying to fix something, you don't want to break something else. So if you're going to do a keto or a low carb diet, you need to still stick to the healthy foods. So just because your blood sugar Sugar is better does not mean that you're gonna live longer so that's a common misconception among my diabetics just because their blood sugar is good now doesn't mean that you are all good so again you know you have to make sure that the food you're eating if it is if it is meat it, it needs to be grass-fed uh, it needs to be non-gmo it needs to your diet has to have olive oil a lot of it uh, you need to avoid saturated fats all the time and you need to incorporate the nuts, the seeds, healthy dairy food, and do a Mediterranean type of diet. So, guys, uh, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share for us and we'll see you in the next one. All right, thank you for watching and I want you to be more informed and more educated. So to do that, go ahead and watch this next video right here.